I'm Keisha Charmaine and I'm back and I'm here to talk about lint. Lint prevention. Lint removal is another conversation. Lint removal is a lot more difficult to deal with and as with most things, prevention is better than cure. So I'm going to be talking about ways to prevent lint from building up into your locks. Now that my hair is darker, lint is a lot more obvious. Not just lint, but pollen or leaves and dandelion dust and whatever, like <laughs> anything is visible if it gets caught in locks. And as you know, locks with the texture of them, they attract that type of stuff. So I am a lot more cautious and conscious of any lint and etc. that may get stuck in my locks. My number one tool to prevent is a, br a brush. You must use a soft bristle brush. Now if you use a hard bristle brush, you're probably going to be causing damage to your locks, so you don't want to do that. You want to get a soft bristle brush. Bore bristles is what I recommend. You want to brush the ends before you get into the shower or before you wash your hair. You wash your hair with lint and stuff in your hair you're helping it to embed into your lock and it will be really difficult to deal with from then on. Brushing your hair when you get out of dusty situations like maybe you're cleaning and you forgot to cover your hair when you're cleaning because you should cover your hair. Maybe it's really windy outside. Maybe you were laying down in some linty sheets. Maybe you were wearing a sweater with lint on it. Whatever. Brush your hair after those situations and make sure that you don't shower or wash your hair until you brush your hair out. Yeah, sometimes just giving it a shake is enough. You don't always need to brush them, but I like to brush them. So one precaution with brushing your locks, do not brush your locks if your locks are not locked, okay? Don't even think about it. And even if your locks are locked, keep in mind that the locks that are closer to your roots are not quite as locked as the locks at your ends. So I only recommend that you would brush maybe like a third down. Well I don't really know how long your locks are watching this but um, probably like the first good chunk, maybe the first, maybe like a good year and a half's worth of growth, I wouldn't recommend brushing that. So I, me personally I brush from like the ear down and um, I feel confident that my hair there is really locked so that's where I will brush and I won't brush any higher up because that's gonna encourage frizziness and possibly breakage because that those locks are not fully locked as the ends are so now for uh, some quick and obvious ways to prevent lint don't lay down in linty sheets and use linty pillowcases. You want to use satin pillowcases. I don't sleep on anything other than satin pillowcases. My sheets aren't satin but they're new and they're not linty. I keep them fresh. I'm at that point where I don't like to cover my hair to go to sleep. I don't. I may cover my edges with a scarf but that's really it. So um, I need to make sure that my bed my bedding and my pillowcases and everything is nice and clean. If you're cleaning the house, you know, you're sweeping, dusting, anything like that, you really gotta cover your hair. Especially when you're sweeping and dusting, the, the lint that gets in your hair is not the big noticeable chunks. Often, sometimes it's the really little fibers that, you know, get picked up in the air as you sweep. And that stuff can make your hair look dusty and gross. So cover your hair when you clean. And lastly, when you're coming in the house or in the building from outside and it's a windy day, three quarters of the year you may want to do hair checks when you come into a building because in the spring you gotta deal with pollen. Same in the summer, like in the summer you have to deal with maybe if you go to the beach, sand. In the fall you wanna do, you gotta think about leaves and twigs and our hair attracts the stuff, so make sure that you do a hair check, maybe ask a friend, a loved one, to you know, give a quick check before you go anywhere to take pictures or in general because you just don't want that stuff in your hair. It's embarrassing. So yeah, let me know if you have any additional tips. Leave a comment below so we can share with each other how we prevent lint build up and yeah. 
If you have any video requests, be sure to leave them below. Definitely get yourself a copy of my new book, More Than a Hair Journey, The Black Woman's Guide to Self-Love and Lock Maintenance. It's about my hair journey and how my hair journey has impacted my self-love journey. And it also has a ton of great tips for maintaining your locks. So definitely check that out. I have a link below where you can get a signed copy or you can just get it on Amazon. And it's available on Kindle as well. My Infinity Hair Wraps are doing so well. So you can definitely pick up your favorite pattern, your favorite colors. My Infinity Head Wraps are available on my shop, lovelylocks.storeenvy.com. Follow me on Instagram at killerdoesthat. Thanks for watching. Love, light, and locks.